If you're using an AI chatbot for academic writing, you want to choose the best chatbot for the job. In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite chatbot for academic writing, which is Claude.ai. In this video, I want to get you set up with a Claude account, and I'm going to share my screen and show you how to do that right now. If you open a new browser tab, and I'm using Chrome for this demonstration, you want to go to Claude.ai. When you get there, you can sign up using Gmail, or you can enter in a personal or work email. Going to type in bron at broneager.com. And then once you type in your email, you'll be sent a confirmation email and then grab that confirmation code and paste it into this paste login code box. Your login code isn't going to come from Claude.ai, it's going to come from Anthropic. My login code arrived, so let's go to Claude and click on that paste login code, paste the code, and then continue with the login code button. So it's asking me to first, let's create an account. It's asking me to verify my mobile number. I'm going to go up to Australia type in my mobile and click the send verification code. Let's type that in. Oh, and I forgot to verify my age. So yes, as you can tell, I am 18 years of age or over. Then we're going to click verify and create account. Indicate that it's for personal use. With Claude, you can also create a team account, but I'm just using this by myself. So I'm going to create a personal account. And we're in. I've got to enter my name. So Bron Eager. But you can call me Bron. And the name that you have here, the you can call me, that's the name that's going to come up on the screen whenever you log into Claude. Let's hit the send button. Oh, it's so nice. Lovely to meet you, Bron. A few things you should know before we start working together. They have an acceptable use policy that prohibits Claude from harm, like producing violent, abusive, or deceptive content, which is very nice. And Anthropic regularly reviews conversations flagged by our automated abuse detection and may use them to improve our safety systems. So hopefully what I'm typing into Claude isn't violating any of those terms and conditions. I'm going to acknowledge that and continue. Claude is also letting us know that it's not perfect. A few things that we should keep in mind include Claude may occasionally generate incorrect or misleading information or produce offensive or biased content. Additionally, Claude is not intended to give advice, including legal, financial and medical advice. So we shouldn't rely on a chatbot for those things. And Anthropic may change the usage limits, functionality or policies as they learn more. And now I am logged into Claude and I can start interacting with the chatbot.